Bison Stem Roundhouse has 5 frames longer recovery on whiff. It still looks good, which makes me realize how crazy it was before. Depending on the block string M. Bison does, it's fairly easy for the opponent to make this whiff. Now there's an actual risk to throwing out this move, which is good because it's a plus on block crush counter normal that I'm sure we all agree is very mindless. They could have done a lot worse. Low Roundhouse also has a bigger hurtbox and takes longer to whiff. But this move was already extremely unsafe and hard to space, so I don't much know what this change is doing. I guess if Bison's looking for Sweep Activate and the opponent jumps back, they'll have an easier time whiff punishing him. Low Forward is now 0 on hit instead of minus 1. This gives Bison a better Low Forward activation route. And it also gives Bison a cancel into his safe on block EX Inferno. So he can get good damage or a reaction BT1 activation out of a mid-range low without charge, i.e. after walking in and faking a throw. Safe low presence is a very welcome addition to Bison's kit. EX Inferno lost 20 damage on hit to compensate. Kind of lame, but that's the price you pay. EX Blast lost some chip damage, both in and out of trigger. But otherwise it's unchanged. EX Stomp had invincibility to hits from frame 3 onward, but now it's gone. This was one of the worst reversals in the game, but it technically was a functional reversal for getting out of block strings. Now it's gone, Bison will have to rely entirely on his 3 frame, his V shift, and his super for his defense. This should also make it a bit worse as an air to air. Previously, EX Stomp basically always won if Bison did it right as the opponent jumped, but now it could go either way. Finally, Bison's grounded super is now actually grounded for the whole animation. Previously, if the opponent punished him too early, they'd just hit him out of the air and lose their whole punish combo. I'm sure this has lost people matches before, but this change should have zero impact on high level play. I said I wouldn't talk about universal changes here, but Bison does get notably good abuse out of the addition of V-Shift. First, he's strapped for defensive options, so any reversal is a huge buff. Second, his long range cancels let him pick up punishes even from very far away. Third, even if you don't get the punish, both Blast and Scissor Kick are pretty safe, so you're not risking much. Finally, he can potentially chase down opponent's V-Shifts with Down Towards Fierce. Even if you read a V-Shift, many characters struggle to punish them, but not Bison. There's not really any new toys for Bison here, and there aren't really any significant changes in general. Some people put Bison as high tier before, some people say mid. Wherever he was before, I'd say he's still around there. He's got all the same strengths and weaknesses. I think overall he's probably a little worse, but only slightly.